Oh my god, there's like 30 heads floating around me. Those are my heads! Hello and a warm welcome to the weekend. Gregor is here, and I've got a big smile on my face. It's, it's that time again. It's time for my weight loss vlog. And I wasn't sure if I was going to wait to do this tomorrow, uh, but I couldn't. You know, I'm home. I haven't been on my scale all week, so I got on the scale today. And um, great news. And guess what? I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to show you. As a matter of fact, I figured I'd show that right off the bat instead of going into my week. For those of you who wanted to see, or for those of you who are keeping score in Jess's challenge, or if Jess, you're watching yourself, I don't want you to have to sit through my 13 minutes of rambling like I did last night to find out how I'm doing. So, here it is. Alright, those were my cats. I don't like them watching me when I weigh myself in, so... Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, we went a little more high-tech. So, uh, not with a scale, it's the same scale, but I actually have... A digital camera with video capability, so I'm not dragging a laptop with a really bad webcam on it. And as you can see, I dressed up my socks, matched the rugs for you. Scale on the 23rd. All right, so let us get on here. Let us see what Mr. Scale has to say. Are you kidding me? Wow. That is like 8.2 pounds. Whoa. Um, yeah. Awesome. And for those of you wondering, I get to introduce my cats. They starred in that little video there. Um, uh, that was Tarquin and Biggles. Uh, the tan one, Tarquin. The tan and white one, Biggles. Um, and I stole those names from Monty Python, if you're wondering what. I'm a huge Monty Python fan. So I keep getting questions about this. This is the Monty Python collection. I've had, well, actually, I think one person was able to actually guess that's what it was, and other people have asked. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, anyway, gosh, why am I talking about that? 8.2 pounds! Bam! Yeah, baby. <laughs> There's probably a big wonder why the heck... I'm losing weight in massive chunks like this, and I I don't know if I have answers. There's two theories I have. Number one, um, one, just so you know that's the number one. Um, this week I had much less carbs than I had last week, actually. Um, I almost went no carb because I was in Atlanta, and I couldn't get to a grocery store. I only had restaurants. And in the morning I had an omelet lady hook me up with an omelet, and then in the afternoon I had... Um, pretty much uh, meat with no bun and nothing else. And, and so uh, I don't know if that's what, what it was. Um, a more likely story is I've actually added a couple things to supplement my diet. And I don't know, I haven't talked about this until now. Uh, I don't definitely don't want to, if I have anything that's working for me and it might work for you, I, there's no reason for me to keep it from you. So um, let me tell you what I have. There's a couple things. There's things called superfoods. I'm sure you've heard of them. And there are videos on YouTube about, about them. Number one, I've added to my diet. I have to figure out how to work the camera here. Acai berry. Acai. Um, this is a juice made from the acai berry that they sell at GNC for $39.99. 40 bucks. And... Um, it is expensive, and for if you're a low carb person, there's three grams of carb per serving, which is an ounce, which is a little bit. And this tastes uh, bland, blandly hideous, with a side of crap. Um, yeah, not good. Uh, but it's it, it, it is heavy in antioxidants. It does naturally cleanse your body, and it is a natural source of energy, much better than that caffeine stuff that we're always having. Also. Um, Thing that I got at the grocery store, they have it frozen. Usually you can get it in health food stores um, and they'll make you a shot of it, but it's called wheatgrass. And wheatgrass is just ridiculously filled with nutrients. And I have um, a shot of that in the morning, and it was like 10 servings for $15.99. So both these things are not are not inexpensive. They you do you do pay some money for them, but um, those that's the only difference between what I've done now and what I've done low carb before, and I've never lost weight this fast. So um, I'm going to have to attribute it to that. So, um, at least I think. Um, I knew when I got home that when I weighed myself today, uh, it was going to be phenomenal because when I was in the Atlanta airport, um, I was wearing these pants that I'm wearing now, and I've, uh, I bought three pair of pants only three weeks ago, and I spent a lot of money on them. Uh, but I had to remove my belt or else obviously I would go off in the alarm. And my, my pants were hanging off my booty. 
Um, I looked like I had the plumber thing going on, and these are I was embarrassed to get these pants because they're bigger than I had ever gotten before. Um, so the downside is pretty soon, I think I can still get away with these in a belt, but probably in a couple months I'm going to have to buy new pants again. Oh, darn. What can you do? Um, in my 13-minute ramblings last week, I'm going to try to keep this short because I only have 10 minutes and I've already wasted it with my the other parts of this video. Um, I didn't mention a couple other tips, and I'm not singling anybody out. I've seen many videos of people even catching themselves saying this is wrong to do. Don't weigh yourself every day. Um, the body changes from day after day after day after day after day. And uh, the only way to get a pretty good gauge is to maybe weigh yourself once a week. And if you do weigh yourself any more of that, make sure you do it at the same time every day. I try to weigh myself at the exact same, same time every day. Um, just to keep things consistent to really know that you're progressing. Um, so, yeah, because if you wait, you could have a perfect day, like, you know, um, just made all the right choices, exercised, you know, I went to the gym for two hours, jump on the scale, and you're like over a pound heavier than you were yesterday. And it just the changes in your body, especially the females. And I know I'm not a female, but I lived um, in a household growing up with a number of them. And believe me, I know. Uh, so, so you, there's no better way to get discouraged because you'll end up binging uh, or you'll end up just giving up altogether. Weigh yourself once a week. Best thing to do. My goal is every time I weigh myself in the week, there will always be a loss until I get my goal. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to accomplish that goal, but there you have it. Uh, I'm trying to keep this short and sweet. One last thing I want to do. She gave me props. Pandas TT, so i got to give her some props back. Um, um, mentioned me in her video and put a link. Maybe I'll have to do the same thing. Uh, but uh, she is also new to the YouTube community uh, and the weight loss thing. Um, I don't know how long she's been on watching, but she only started doing videos a week ago. And she's kind of a newbie like me. I'm acting like I own the place, don't I? Uh, but <laughs> but um, I want to give her something I wish somebody had given me, a shout-out. Subscribe to her. Um, in front of the camera, she is absolutely adorable because she's a little timid. And actually, I think the more she makes videos, the more she'll get she'll get comfortable from, uh, with it. And she she wants our support, and, and, and she should get it, as, as much support as I'm getting, because I still want support. Um, the the I, I don't have a whole lot of subscribers, but the ones I have always leave the best comments in the world, including her, and make me feel wonderful. So 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 please go ahead and do that. I may spotlight somebody every week. Um, somebody sketches. Everybody out here is awesome, but I might just throw a shout out, especially to somebody who hasn't been around very long, and, and I'd like to get them some traction. So um, hopefully you'll do the same. So uh, I never know what to do at the end of these. Eight point two two pounds. So we will say adieu, and I will finish with a bow. I will see you next week. I'm off to Fresno, California.